Yo, 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 hello noobs, another video, another day. So this will be another tutorial about the uh, HHR uh, stat lab as you can see here. So this video would be a lot of talking, a lot of yapping because this video will be an in-depth guide about on how to use the reborn stat lab. So this is actually an updated version of the stat lab. So as you can see it has the premium now so you can just buy this if you want it has a really really cool feature especially the uh, guild weekly contribution so yeah before we start i just want to say a few things um this video actually takes a lot of effort and a lot of research and a lot of knowledge basically and a lot of contribution you know about the uh, rflx stat lab and then me editing the video even though it's really just low quality i mean you know i'm trying my best and i'm improving by the time and i really appreciate if you like subscribe and leave a comment you know so let's actually start okay so i am a mage right so i will choose a mage so this is the chapter one of it the character part So you can just set your levels so what level am i i am i am level loading okay no but basically i am level 201 so let me just put this so this is your attack skill we will focus about the attacks and the skills later on so i am sitting um let's just say this and I'm using my analytic staff and I'm using this set so yeah the speed run it so yeah so on this top part this would be your seated weapons okay so you can just use it and then this is the weapon you are using on the bottom part and then this is your accessory so but blue there's no magnus there there's no red cape there's no monkey tail just click this bro all class yeah just click that okay yeah okay and then so this is your helmets yeah you can also check for example um as you can see i will just edit it but you can see the defense the attack the level requirement and the the price there on the right side then you can edit your stats okay this is my stats let's just do it 300 100 then 146 yeah so this is my stats as you can see you can see your crit multiplier your speed and then your um, attack speed your final attack your final defense the total cost and then the enchantment cost so you know if your weapon is enchanted you can see the cost of it so yeah chapter 2 the attacks okay the attacks so as you can see here when you first click it it will show you the enemy list okay it's all it got all the enemies even the boss is right here but when you click it again it will show you the variant of it as you can see when the, this GUI pops up I mean the icon when the icon change you will see the hot variants of every mob there is so for example um, let me just um, this guy so when I'm using the summon race, let's max that, let's max that. So when I use the 200 magic jump attack, basically the beam, I can one shot it when it crits. Okay, I can one shot it. So let me just um, use the one so it's more um, it's more easy to show you guys. So yeah. So basically the dual will jump attack will deal 541 damage times four it will hit for the but it's not accurate bro it's not accurate because um the mage as you can see it's also a melee weapon so it's actually you're gonna hit um as you can see that it will um hit the six energy balls and then plus two of your um your wands so yeah i can one tap the um, this guy as you can see dual wield magic jump attack there we go i can one shot it when it crits it will most likely crit since i have like 13 percent and yeah with the ice as well you can one shot it okay that's with the chapter 2 damage um let me just show you guys the um other class so cowboy since a lot of you guys is cowboy 
um change class let me just look at the weapon change the weapon of it as you can see you will have um, the range the bullet range so most likely you're at 100 percent range and then click it again the mobs click it again you can see here so guided missile shotgun blast jump grenade so it doesn't have the uh the jump the jump attack so is this updated i don't know man i don't know but yeah you can just uh, look it up and then the uh, the warrior because it has the shield so as you can see when we uh, equip a weapon then we can equip a shield you will see that another button appears what does this do oh that's your shield skill okay so it will uh Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So, yeah, shield attack. You know, it has all of the uh, warrior attacks right there. So, that's chapter 2. Let's go now to chapter 3. The chapter you all have been waiting for. The pets. Okay, the pets. So, let me just... Um, I think I have saved here. Yeah, OP image. Load that. So, I'm just experimenting on what can I really do this is like the full team stalker junior but yeah let me add um, another one oh no so let's just remove remove wait there we go so you're just gonna click I mean let me just remove it for you guys so click this this plus button then for example my pet is uh, retardo okay so as you can see, his stats on the right side, HP 100%, attack 100%, defense 135%, dex 20%, price 328,320, equipment type warrior, its critical hits will deal 50% more damage to the enemy but it will also reflect back to you. So every damage he does will reflect to you. So let's not, okay let's just put him, okay it also has an attack now. I'm. I'm gonna use a uh, better attack pet. Um, let us use a pet tree, since it has the the eyes. Okay. So for example, your pet is level, um, let's say 69. Okay. And you added like 100 HP on it, and like 150 attack, and then like 30 defense, and then like 10. Okay. So it will hit. 28,000 final attack and then 351 final defense and then you need you will click this to add um, the helmet as you can see it already automatically picks the mage because the equipment type is mage then you add the boots and then yeah you can see here what pets that will deal damage to you and then and yeah wait let me see vision so it, for example, um, this one, the blue mushroom, it, it will deal 2 damage to your pets and it will, is this the, uh, the pet damage? I really forgot to be honest, but I think it is, but it will, your pet will deal, yeah there we go, pet damage dealt, damage dealt to pet, mushroom ball, mm, simple as that. Your pet will deal 509 damage, so you can go crazy with this. For example, your pet is level 1000, for example. Let us add like 1001. Let's add like 3000 attack. Oh, let us put the Stalker Jr. So yeah, your pet is like Stalker Jr. Then put like some max thing. Then look, your pet can one shot. Can your pet one shot the boss? Nah, you can't one shot the boss. What can you one shot? You can one shot the Yeti, you can one shot You can one shot the goose, this, you can one shot the bricks. Damn. You can one shot basically most likely anything except for the boss. But yeah. And that's about it really. So in conclusion, um you can also save your um your uh, thing here, just click update, but I won't do that. I'm gonna do that. See, load. So yeah. So the chapter one, 
your character like your weapons and then um, why does it do that it bugs out your weapon your stats your levels um, the, the the damage skills about the pets the skills oh this also the um some of the uh, the dungeon damage thingy and then that's the update and then the pets so that's about it really I think you pretty much get the whole video what is it about and yeah I hope you got some knowledge about it I know it's like pretty crumbled up pretty messy you know but yeah it's just some knowledge so you can use the bot you know play around with it the stat lab so yeah if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like subscribe leave a comment you know see how it goes see how the algorithm will take me far and then yeah See you guys again next time. I will upload tomorrow probably. So yeah. Watch out. See ya noobs. Peace.